Hey, sitting like a boss, bring the workers out. Press on the exhaust, we be scared now. Well, guys, I think for the first time we're not at Quick Trip, but we are at Holiday Gas Station. But today we're not gonna be fishing on my bass boat. We're gonna be fishing on my buddy Kylie's bass boat. His straddles right there. He's taking some morning pictures. But today we are actually gonna be going fishing at you could say the most popular lake in the entire state of Minnesota, Lake Minnetonka. So guys, join us on our fishing adventure as we try to catch our best five bass. Let's go. So what's your name? I'm Kylie. And uh, what's the plan today, bro? Uh, today was just pre-fishing, but also have a good time out there. So yes. hopefully find new spots, fish for fun, have a good time out there. Mainly to have a good time. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, dude, I love I love a good chicken bite, dude. I know, I just, every time I watch your videos, I'm like, damn, you found about the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> we finally have to launch, though, guys. We got some wind, uh, overcast conditions. There's not gonna be any conditions like that at all. It's just gonna be bluebird skies, but we got the wind, guys. I love wind. Hopefully, we get on a good bite, guys. I'm excited. Uh, but yeah, you could say this is probably the most popular lake in all of Minnesota for bass fishing. Why? It's Lake Minnetonka. It's right in the uh, in the metro here, and a lot of people just this is the biggest tournaments on this lake. And there's always bass boats out here. Like literally, we are out here, bass boat over there, and great fishery though. But honestly, this is like my first actual time fishing I've been here before but just like as a noob but guys let's freaking crush it how that sound get yeah, that sound good tell them break it down I so windy sing in town don't forget the dollar sign how that sound get yeah, that sound good tell them get in line hold it down hold it down came up from the underground how that sound get yeah, that sound good sounds good how that sound get yeah, that sound good sounds good how that sound get yeah, that sound good sounds good how that sound get yeah, that sound good sounds good Yeah, so during the day, it's 40 miles an hour. I had you on our stationary radar at 60. Woo! Well, guys, uh, that was an unfortunate start to the day, but hopefully with that bad luck brings good luck and we catch a freaking monster bass. But, um, bro, what are we fishing right here? We are fishing Little Saddle and Crystal Bay. Ah. Right in the middle of traffic. All right. Woo! I'll be on your this side because I hook set this way and you hook set that way. Yeah, I'll get 12 inch for the front and then I'll probably get another 12 inch in the back. Ah. Man, this is crazy how fast the, the season is already changing. Let's try to drop shot. Here you go, first fish of the day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I know they're here. <laughs> yep. Right there, boys. First fish of the day. Definitely not the right size. That's a nice bass, dude. First fish of the day. Yeah. Nice. What'd you catch it on? Alright, scale zeroed out. Okay. 2.05. First fish of the day. Caught by Kylie. Yeah, fish number two. I'm getting all fish by this guy. <laughs> Maybe Kylie fishing uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, that jib one is crazy. Oh, scale zeroed out. One point seven four. Fish number two. Put here the scatters out to little weeds. Oh, and then they're they're in the thicker weeds. They're sitting right in between right here. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, that was a big fish. That's at least four or five pounds. <laughs> it's like right there. <laughs> yeah. 
So you guys might be wondering why we have the camera pointed down, but you know, this is his spot on this lake, which is a highly pressured tournament lake where spots really do matter. So it's important that I don't spot burn his spot. So gotta keep it low key, boys. Folks, if you're wondering, as you can see right here, we are right here. And then uh, what we're working is that. And the bass, from according to what Kylie are saying, they go in and out of there. So, damn, power fishermen like me struggle with tiny tamas out here. <laughs> <laughs> This shit works on like, you could say less pressured lakes, not, like lakes that aren't tournament pressured. Uh -huh. They're different from like tournament pressured lakes like this, right? Yep. Like for example, Jarvis versus Tonka. Like, you go to Jarvis, you go to like any point, you'll catch four pounder. Oh, but you come out to these, you these, catch like one or two pounder. Mm. Like for the big fish out here, there's so much pressure. Yep. They don't stay in one spot. Oh. They're always roaming. Oh. But you have a spot that you know that there's four pounds, but they're just running in and out like pockets or like, the wheel lines and stuff. Yep. You will have to take like your time on it. Keep casting until they come back and you just boom. Yep. Damn. Crazy. Because I heard the interview where the guy caught his eight pounder here. He said they had a bite, they missed it, it left, and then came back, fished the same spot again, then they caught it. What the heck? It's crazy. You met him too? Or you just saw his truck. I met I met him, but he probably doesn't remember. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you hear that, Dave? If you're watching here, Kylie says you don't remember him. I was I was I was also that car and the Avalon driving towards Milwaukee. You can tell that to a David because he watches my videos too. Oh, he watches it. Yeah, I was that guy in that Avalon driving towards Milwaukee. I waved my hand out the window towards you. <laughs> Man, you hear that David? We're talking about you, bro. Those ways are no joke, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fish on. Got him. It's a good one, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a I slimer. That, I don't think that was the fish I saw. <laughs> this is uh, not looking good today. <laughs> uh, don't take my craw. Oh. Nah, this is just a yum craw, bro. Oh. Dang. I wonder if those are just pikes pecking at my lure earlier, dude. Could be. Yeah. Keep missing it. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Oh well. I'll take that though, man. I've been quiet for me for a while. Means I got to set the hook. <laughs> If you don't listen that much Cause some of y'all don't listen at all The same shit they be pushing your butt It's got a grown man having withdrawals I don't mind if you don't listen that much Yo, I just mind what you say for the crowd Cause some of y'all don't listen at all Some of y'all don't answer that call Realize the movie that I was watching It's the end of the world, Illuminati is coming Gather the boys and girls and watches it all in pearls They clutching it all they pearls And no one asking for guidance Well guys, I think we're at the last stop of the day Apparently it's been pretty tough Even though we're pre-fishing This one. Oh, that's a good one That's right here Ah, okay We're at this Tonka Rat spot Kylie not sure if I suck at fishing or the conditions, whatever. But man, guys, Tonka is like a freaking zoo. I wonder if people choose this as an ultimate Minnesota bass fishing stadium for these turbs, derbs and stuff. Cause it just looks like a like a fat thing on the bottom, you know. So you tell me there's days on Tonka where it's like they bite good and then days where they're just like like this. Yeah. They just don't want to bite, lock jaw. Yep. It's one of those days like, damn, I know there's fish there, but what would work? <laughs> so weird. Yeah. I've never seen a lake this tough. Fish. Yep. Yes! It's not even a keeper, dude. 
<sighs> Second bass of the day, hate to say it, but whatever. Better than nothing. I mean, I did catch that little fish, like, open water, you know? So maybe they don't mind the sun? This, this lake doesn't have a weed line. And it's very, very, very small weed line. It's like oh. garbage weed line. Oh. It's there, but it's, they're just hugging that weed line. Ooh! That, that was cool. Yes, I got a hook set! <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That's our fish number three, bro. <laughs> Let's weigh them. They suck. 1.54, 1.54 or six. Still the same fight as a uh, tournament, as a uh, champions. Oh, I guess the only people who are waving. How did the people who live in the What? Uh, I don't know, man, but alright, I'll let you check. <laughs> man, catch a fish, folks. Yeah, you can hang up, bro. How much did you check it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 1.47. What a struggle. It's a big fish that way. Fish. Oh my gosh. Worked. <laughs> fish number five, maybe? Yeah. Most boringest way ever. <laughs> this fish is probably not even a keeper, y'all. Well, it might be. One pounds, 1.16. One there, okay guys we are at the final spot i think uh if i don't learn my lesson to not power fish today's experience would have gone for nothing drop shot well not drop shot ned rig ned rig yeah my humbling experience here this entire body of water is just massively pressured by tournament anglers and Fisherman and just everybody in general. Jeez, it's so tough. Dang, Kylie's hooked up again. Ooh, we got our first call of the day. Again on the jig worm. Dude, that's a nice one. He got chewed up by musky. They really just want that only. <laughs> this is just absurd. See how much I broke down the lake? <laughs> I'm still hey. trying to see if I can get some type of lucky bite, but Give me the they only want that. <sighs> Call number one, two pounds on the dot. humbling experience guys i came out to this lake thinking it was gonna be like every other lake we go to a jig something moving something big but man this guy just showed me <laughs> the way finesse jig warm like holy crap i never knew it was gonna be like that big of a difference like literally like we were fishing I was dragging the jig, dark sleeper, all my usual power baits, right? And the same cast, this dude tosses out his jig worm and just catches them. And I'm just watching. Just a humbling experience. And just like fishing like a hard lake, like level 10, like final boss kind of thing, you know? Like, whew, I am humbled. Just makes days 
out on you know the good lakes look like a beautiful day of fishing because this is tough like i got my gut speeded out you got anything to say bro um not really just came out have fun like I said earlier so yeah he had fun he had some pre-fishing to do so we didn't <laughs> we had to make sure we didn't whack on his good spots so uh thanks for taking me out bro yeah yeah but guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's a little bit tougher episode. But anyways, guys, make sure to drop a comment. Talk about anything, guys. Uh, how about I ask you guys a question? What is your biggest bass of this year so far? Drop it down in the comments. But other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Well guys, um, say hi to the hi. people. Uh, we're not uh, fishing right now. Today's uh, Sunday, day after fishing. And we're going to a friend's wedding, Carney and Nushu. We're in Minneapolis right now, and uh, what a beautiful day. Um, walking there right now, we are late guys. So we're gonna have to wait outside of the ceremony till then but just a beautiful day guys it's wonderful and nothing has better nothing is better than just spending time with my beautiful woman for allowing me to create awesome videos for you guys to watch but enjoy us enjoy us our on on our wedding adventure today wave your hand hi please smile weirdo Voila!